what's going on it's Toby here or Toby Jizzle and welcome back to another episode of Search for Silverware now it's the end of um, June start of July 2012 and I'm just going to quickly um, run you through what's happened as I always do um, basically there hasn't been much going on um, no fixtures anyway you guys know it's the end of the season here's just a quick season review of um, uh, well 2011 2012 um, Wickham, Sheffield and Rochdale all going up and Stevenage, Oldham and Exeter and Yeovil all going down relegated. Um, the fans have announced um, Michael Wood as the player of the Michael Woods, sorry, as the player of the year. And um, deservedly so I guess his performances were amazing throughout the season. And um oh, that was a, I think that was a really good signing for me, I guess. Um, best eleven, these guys all performed admir admirably throughout the season. Um, I'm proud of each and every one of my players and um, hopefully that will continue into um, the next season in the championship for us. Um, I don't know, I don't know how I'm going to perform in the championship because um, I don't know, the football league is unpredictable. Whereas when teams get to the Premier League, you can usually uh, like you can have a solid guess that at least two of them will go back down. Not always the case, but there's usually that certainty about it whereas um in the football leagues you can get like consecutive promotions which is just crazy so i don't know a, cons a second consecutive promotion would just be amazing for me i doubt it will happen because of the strength of my squad in comparison to the rest however we did get some good performances against teams like tottenham and um southampton in the fa cup of last season so hopefully that'll carry on into the next season um first game of the season it will be at home against um uh, Burnley so hopefully we can get a really good start from that and uh, after that we'll play um, Watford away at Vicarage Road so that should be interesting a uh, whopping 2.93 million we've been given for championship TV rights um, that should be a massive boost to the club's finances because um, obviously a club of Wickham stature not that big a club um, every penny counts so 2.93 million I'm not complaining and I don't know. I don't know if there's anything else to to tell you lot about. Oh yeah, obviously. Um, oh crap! I need to get him on. I need to get him signed again. My assistant's not doing a very good job of that. I think I might have to start looking at um, new staff to bring in to help me um, develop the squad, I guess, because I didn't really work with staff last year. But it worked out all right. But um, I don't know. Championship might not be as easy to manage. So hopefully, I can get some um, decent guys working with me to build the squad and improve. And um, the other, the final thing I guess I've got to tell you a lot about is um, that Blackpool have made a bid for my goalkeeper, Nicky Ball. They made a 81 grand bid for him, but I've bumped it up to 100, 100 grand, um, waiting for a reply from them right now. Initially I wasn't going to sell him, but then I tried to um, open contract talks with um, his agent and um, he was being a greedy little bitch, so I don't know if I'm going to bother. I've got another keeper. I think his name's Jason Mooney coming through the ranks. So it'll be uh, interesting to see how he performs. But yeah, that's about it from me for this uh, episode. Um, if you guys like, leave a like. Um, if you have any, um, I don't know, suggestions, um, negative comments, to, or constructive criticism rather. Constructive criticism. Ugh, I need to learn to say my words. Um, leave that in the comment section below so I can see that and I can improve. Um, other than that, um, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.